Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the problem of four forces that is C problem, another permutation problem. Okay. So Andrew is just starting to come up with problems and difficult for him. That's why he came up with a strange problem about permutations and he asked us to solve this problem. Okay. So can we do this? Yes, we can. So there is a logic. It is defining the cost of permutation P, which is saying that we have to take the summation of Pi dot I and then we have to minus the maximum value of Pi into I. Okay. So we have to do this. So let's see some example to understand. Like and you guys know that what is permutation or not so we don't need to discuss that so in this case we are given only a single integer n and the most important thing here is that like you have to take care of the constraint constraint are too small so like you can do experiments so let's say like let's see first what is this so suppose you have one Two, three, this array. So you will index like one, two, three. So what you have to do? Just multiply each of them. This is one, four, nine. Then you have to take the maximum of these values. The maximum of these value is nine. So you will add those these values and subtract the maximum one. That is nine. So So we will subtract this. So here it, it answer is 5. But we have to maximize this. Okay. So to maximize like let's take the basic example here. So 2 comma sorry n equal to 2. Okay. So we have 1, 2 and like calculate the score here so it will be 1 2 and 1 and plus 4 okay and you have to do minus 4 2 like return the this value maximum you have to subtract this so answer will be 1 here and we have to try another combination another permutation basically so it will be 2 1 the index will be 1 and 2 okay so here it will be 2 and here it will be also 2 ok so you have, you have to add these and subtract the minimum 1 minimum is 2 sorry maximum 1 maximum is 2 so 4 minus 2 answer will be 2 so we have one answer as this 1 and another answer is 2 Okay, so we have two cases here. Like either we can take all the permutations and get the solution, like try each one and calculate the maximum score, one thing. But if you like if you see some other examples, typically okay. So, if you see the n equal to 4, for n equal to 4, like here they are reversing some part of the array. Okay, 1, 2, 4, 3. Why they are re reversing this? They are reversing because to, the, to get the maximum, this we have to subtract the maximum value. To reduce this maximum value, we are doing this. Okay. And you can see constraints are very low here. So we can do experiments. So what we will do here, we will make all the combinations. But we will not make all the permutations, just combinations. Combinations will be like if we have one, two, 
थ्री फोर ओके वे विल स्टार्ट रिवर्सिंग फ्रॉम बैक सो फर्स्ट वे विल रिवर्स वन टू फोर थ्री देन वन ईयर फोर थ्री एंड टू ओके देन अगेन वी हैव फोर थ्री टू वन so these are the four cases and we have these many cases only okay so time complexity will be here n square so that is not to do deal so for each array we will calculate the score okay the score will be calculated simply like we will define the index 1 2 3 4 4 and we will multiply the And calculate the score. Like if we calculate the score for this second one, so one and one, so one plus two and two, four, four and three, twelve, and again twelve. So we have to minus the maximum one. So we will avoid this. So it will be seventeen here, okay. And if we calculate for other with a similar pattern and calculate the maximum value, seventeen will be the maximum one. So this will be the answer. Okay. We have to do same thing for every other case. Like just make these many per uh, permutations. So permutation will be n. And for each permutation, we will calculate the score like this. The score. How we can calculate the score? Answer. Initially define answer equal to zero, then answer plus equal to just d of i. Simple. And multiply this with i plus one. And also take one maximum value. Mx. Simply, you know that how can take maximum maximum of mx comma this value. Okay. So in the last, you have to minus answer minus mx and return this answer. so answer will be for any permutation we get this answer and we will calculate the maximum of all the permutation so the permutation will be n and we have n total number so to total time complexity will be n square so if you try this solution it will get five so hope you understand this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you